Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Andy back again today with a little bit different of a video. Today we are going to be installing UHMW plastic to um, a metal combo rack. Um, the reason why we're doing this is that my combo rack did not come with UHMW plastic to protect the barbell from getting scraped up um, on metal to metal contact. So uh, this is just a little project I did. I have no idea what I'm doing and I kind of just uh, winged it with a little bit of research that I did on the internet. I'm going to have a full description and breakdown of what I did um, in the description below and everything that I used for it. All right, let's get started. Make sure you have everything secured down before starting. I already knew where I wanted to put my hole, so I put a little tap fluid to just start the pilot hole. And I took my hammer drill and my carbide tip to start uh, making the first hole. The, uh, going through the UHMW plastic, it's going to go really fast. However, the most challenging part of this whole project is actually making a hole to go through the metal. So with this carbide tip uh, drill bit, you have to make sure that this uh, drill bit, it's actually probably like about one notch below the, um, the tap drill bit. And the reason is you want your hole to actually be smaller than the tap drill bit. And that's so when you use the tap drill bit, it will actually enlarge the hole that you uh, first make and that you drill through the metal. So it makes those grooves for the screw to actually bite into the metal and actually be held together. You just want to keep going with a downward pushing motion um, just to get through the metal. Uh, depending how hard you press down and how strong your drill bit is, I'm sure there are better drill bits out there for this kind of application, but this carbide drill bit was the only thing I had on hand at the time. Now as you can see, I finally got through the metal. Uh, you can't see it because there's no light at the bottom, and then now I want to clean out this, um, all that gunk that drilling through the metal created while using the tap. It had like a foamy kind of like metallic uh, shards that came together. I'm just getting through and now we want to take the quarter inch drill bit and I am making a countersink hole for the screw to sit flush with the UHMW plastic. But in my case I actually uh, made it a little bit deeper so that the screw goes in further so that when a barbell is racked it'll make absolutely no contact with uh, the metal screw. You just want to take your time with this and go nice and slow and here after I finished making that um, countersink hole I tested it with the screw itself and now it's time to make the actual tap hole. So you want to take the tap drill bit and put a little a tap fluid in there and you want to go nice and slow through the metal. So as you can see I take my time with this. This is in real time. Um, I'm just going through nice and slow. Make sure it's nice and secure as I am making the grooves for the screw. And then once I get to a stop um, you want to go through backwards at the same speed that you probably went through nice and slow and it will make that nice tap for you and if you do this successfully you should be able to insert your screw uh, and it'll, it should be able to bite down after you start going through with your alien wrench here after installing the screw it's nice and flush or a little bit recessed in so there's no metal on metal contact all right and that's gonna about wrap it up as you can see, I did two taps. I did one at the bottom and then one at the top. Uh, this was just a nice little enhancement that a lot of combo racks don't have. It seems like the ones that are custom made, they don't come equipped with UHMW plastic. That is gonna do it for me here. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. It's a nice, easy project to do. Full write-up will be in the description. Thank you and have a great day. Peace out.